I'm McClellan, General Air Products. I'm an engineer here and I'd like to explain how to wire the typical oilless compressor. This is a typical setup with the pressure switch on the side already mounted. If you remove the cover in here you can see that we have already wired the motor to the pressure switch. And if you look closely, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, the terminals are labeled. Here's a line, line, and motor, and motor. And we already have the motor on the motor terminals. Your incoming power would be put on the line terminals, just like this. And that's all you need to do. Bring your incoming power onto the line terminals, and you're, you're set. Some common mistakes we see in wiring is that you bring your incoming power and they're put on the motor terminals. If you bring your incoming power and put them to the motor terminals, the pressure switch will not work. The compressor will just run continuous and the first thing is that the relief valve will start going off and you'll call us and say that the compressor is not operating per correctly. Another common mistake <clears throat> is bypassing the pressure switch altogether. And some people bring their incoming power right into the motor box. That again is bypassing the pressure switch. The compressor will run continuously. Relief valve will go off. Each pressure switch cover is labeled with the voltage that it's wired for. This one's wired for 115 volt. We have already set the motor for 115 volt. <clears throat> if you get a compressor and you're changing voltage, on our website are detailed instructions of how to go into the motor box and change this, for example, from 115 volt to 230 volt. 